There's a patient in a medical facility right now who hasn't been able to move their body for years, yet they're typing complete sentences on a computer screen using nothing but their thoughts. No voice recognition, no eye tracking, no physical input devices at all, just neural signals being translated directly into digital commands by a chip implanted in their brain. In a different location, engineers are conducting test flights of electric aircraft that lift off vertically from city streets, carrying passengers above traffic congestion in vehicles quieter than helicopters and powered entirely by batteries. And in laboratories across multiple continents, scientists are working with materials that automatically repair their own damage. Polymers that heal cracks and scratches within minutes when exposed to specific conditions. These aren't concepts being proposed for some distant future that may or may not arrive. These are operational systems being refined and tested right now, in 2025, with clear timelines for widespread deployment within the next five years. The gap between what sounds like science fiction and what's actually functioning in test programs has collapsed to almost nothing. We're living in a moment where the impossible becomes the commercially viable in timeframes that would have seemed absurd just a decade ago. Contact lenses projecting holographic data directly into your field of vision, batteries that fully charge in under 10 minutes, robots providing companionship and physical assistance to elderly individuals, food printers assembling customized meals from cartridges of ingredients. These aren't theoretical possibilities. They're technologies in various stages of advanced testing, early production, or limited commercial release. What follows is an examination of 10 specific technologies that are already operational or in advanced development, why they matter, and how they'll reshape daily life before this decade ends. The materials fixing themselves. Before your eyes. Cracked smartphone screens represent one of the most universally frustrating aspects of modern consumer electronics. Drop your device at the wrong angle, and you're facing repair costs that can exceed the value of older phones. But self-healing materials are emerging that could make screen damage a temporary inconvenience, rather than a permanent problem. Scientists have developed specialized polymer compounds that automatically repair scratches and minor structural damage, sometimes within just minutes, when exposed to specific wavelengths of light or gentle heat. LG once demonstrated a smartphone back cover incorporating this technology that could heal minor scuffs without any user intervention whatsoever. The material simply reconstituted itself when damaged. Researchers are now expanding these concepts beyond phone cases to protective coatings for automobiles, aerospace applications, and general consumer electronics. The self-healing materials market is projected to reach nearly $8 billion by 2030 as manufacturing processes mature and production costs decline through economies of scale. By decade's end, most consumer devices might incorporate materials that automatically repair small damages, dramatically extending product lifespans and reducing electronic waste. It's not the flashiest technology compared to flying vehicles or brain implants, but it might be one of the most practically significant shifts in how products get designed, manufactured, and maintained over their useful lives. The batteries eliminating charging anxiety. Battery capacity remains one of the most significant limiting factors in modern portable electronics and electric transportation. Users constantly monitor remaining charge, adjust usage patterns to conserve power, and experience genuine anxiety when batteries run low at inconvenient times. But next-generation battery technologies are emerging that could make those concerns obsolete. Startups like StoreDot have demonstrated working prototype batteries that fully charge smartphones in under 10 minutes, not incremental improvements over current lithium-ion technology, but fundamental leaps in charging speed. Major manufacturers, including Toyota and Samsung, are investing billions of dollars in solid-state battery development that promises dramatically higher energy density, significantly longer operational lifespans, and charging times measured in seconds or minutes rather than hours. The global solid-state battery market is expected to surpass $20 billion by 2030, though the critical challenge remains scaling production from laboratory prototypes to mass manufacturing at consumer price points. If that manufacturing problem gets solved, and substantial resources are being devoted to solving it, everything from smartphones to electric vehicles could recharge almost instantly. This would effectively eliminate low battery anxiety that currently influences how people use their devices, plan their travel, and structure their days around access to charging infrastructure. The psychological freedom from constant power management could be as significant as the technological achievement itself. The aircraft redefining urban transportation 
Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicles, commonly abbreviated as EVTOLS, or popularly called flying cars, have moved decisively from conceptual designs to operational test flights, demonstrating that the fundamental technology works reliably. Companies including Joby Aviation, Archer Aviation, and Lilium have completed successful test flights of their electric aircraft, proving the viability of urban air mobility. These vehicles are significantly quieter than traditional helicopters, operate entirely on electric propulsion, and are specifically engineered for short-distance transportation over congested urban areas. In 2023, Joby Aviation received Federal Aviation Administration approval for test flights in the United States, while European regulatory authorities are conducting parallel certification reviews. The vehicles aren't ready for everyday commuter deployment yet, safety protocols need refinement, air traffic management systems must be developed for low-altitude urban flight, and regulatory frameworks require completion. But industry analysts project the global urban air mobility market could exceed $45 billion by 2030, driven by partnerships between aviation technology companies and major metropolitan areas worldwide. By decade's end, short-distance air taxi rides may become a legitimate transportation option in major cities, fundamentally transforming how people conceptualize distance and commute times. What currently takes an hour in ground traffic might take 10 minutes by air, reshaping urban geography and residential patterns. The food assembly systems, reimagining cooking. Three-dimensional printing technology has expanded far beyond its original applications in prototyping and manufacturing. One of the most unexpected domains it's entering is food preparation, where precision and customization matter enormously for both nutrition and culinary appeal. Companies like Natural Machines with their Foodini printer have created devices that can print pasta shapes, pizza bases, and elaborate designer desserts with geometric precision impossible through traditional cooking methods. NASA has tested 3D food printing systems for astronaut nutrition, since conventional cooking presents significant practical challenges in microgravity environments where liquids don't behave normally and heat distribution is unpredictable. The market for 3D food printing is projected to exceed $10 billion by 2030, driven by demand for personalized nutrition tailored to individual dietary requirements and convenience for consumers with limited culinary skills or time for meal preparation. By decade's end, households might load cartridges containing proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and flavor compounds, then let automated printers assemble complete meals customized to specific health requirements, caloric targets, and taste preferences. It's cooking reimagined as additive manufacturing, with all the precision, customization, and consistency that industrial processes can bring. Whether this represents improvement or degradation of culinary culture will be debated, but the technological capability is arriving regardless. The robots becoming household companions? Personal robotics is evolving far beyond the vacuum cleaners that already autonomously navigate millions of homes worldwide. Companies like Tesla with its Optimus platform and Xiaomi with CyberOne are testing humanoid robots specifically designed to fold laundry, assist with cooking tasks, or provide support for elderly individuals who want to maintain independence in their own homes. In Japan, where demographic aging is particularly acute, service robots are already being deployed in nursing homes on a trial basis. These robots provide both physical assistance with daily tasks and social companionship for residents who might otherwise experience isolation. Early results suggest that residents form emotional connections with robotic companions, treating them as social entities rather than mere appliances. The global personal robotics market is projected to expand from approximately $23 billion in 2022 to over $160 billion by 2030, a staggering growth trajectory reflecting both technological maturation and demographic pressures from aging populations in developed nations. These robots remain expensive and somewhat limited in current iterations, with capabilities that pale compared to human caregivers. But by decade's end, personal robots could become as commonplace as dishwashers or clothes dryers, handling routine household tasks and freeing human time for other activities. The neural interfaces eliminating physical controls Brain-computer interfaces have crossed from theoretical neuroscience research to actual human clinical trials with measurable, reproducible results. Neuralink successfully implanted its first chip in a human patient in 2024, with the specific objective of restoring communication capabilities for individuals with paralysis or severe motor impairments that prevent normal interaction with digital devices. 
Another company, Synchron, uses a stent-like implant that avoids invasive open brain procedures and has also completed testing in human patients with promising outcomes. These devices can already enable users to move cursors on computer screens or type words using thought alone, no physical movement whatsoever required. The technology operates by detecting specific patterns of neural activity associated with intended movements or communications, then translating those electrical patterns into digital commands that computers can execute. The global brain-computer interface market is projected to reach $5 billion by 2030 as research expands beyond purely medical applications into prosthetics, accessibility technology, and potentially mass-market consumer products. The technology remains experimental and faces significant regulatory hurdles before widespread deployment. But if the current development trajectory continues, the keyboard and mouse, technologies that have defined human-computer interaction for more than half a century, could become obsolete within a generation, replaced entirely by direct neural control. The wearable displays, replacing screens. Contact lenses may eventually eliminate the need for smart glasses, smartphones, or any external display technology whatsoever. MojoVision has already demonstrated working prototypes featuring built-in micro-LED displays that project information directly into the wearer's field of vision without any external hardware. These lenses could eventually display navigation arrows floating in your actual view as you walk through unfamiliar cities, health statistics overlaid on your vision during exercise, or notifications appearing as if suspended in space, all without requiring bulky external devices that mark you as a technology user. The primary technical challenges involve safely powering the lenses without damaging delicate eye tissue and miniaturizing electronic components enough to fit comfortably on the curved surface of the eye. The global smart contact lens market is expected to reach $7 billion by 2030, fueled by advances in micro-display technology and medical applications, including continuous glucose monitoring for diabetic patients who currently must use finger-stick blood tests or external sensor patches. If development continues on its current trajectory, holographic contact lenses could make digital information overlays feel as natural and seamless as normal vision itself, finally achieving the truly invisible augmented reality that technology companies have pursued for decades without success. While most people assume these technologies remain decades away, fusion reactors are achieving net energy gain for the first time in human history. Brain implants are allowing paralyzed patients to communicate through pure thought. Flying electric vehicles are completing certification test flights in major metropolitan areas. Contact lenses with integrated displays are being demonstrated to potential investors and partners. Robots are learning to provide elder care and companionship. Materials are healing their own structural damage automatically. Batteries are charging in minutes instead of hours. Food printers are assembling customized meals with precision impossible through conventional cooking. And neural interfaces are eliminating the need for physical computer controls entirely. These aren't distant possibilities or speculative concepts. They're current realities in various stages of refinement, regulatory approval, and early commercial deployment. The timeline from theoretically possible to commercially available has compressed dramatically compared to previous technological eras. Innovations that would have required decades of development in the 20th century are now moving from laboratory to consumer market in just years. By 2030, just five years from now, many of these technologies will transition from early adopter novelties purchased by enthusiasts to mainstream consumer products that fundamentally reshape how ordinary people live their daily lives. The future isn't approaching gradually anymore. It's arriving in compressed, overlapping waves, with each breakthrough enabling the next in accelerating succession. The question isn't whether these technologies will transform society. The question is whether social institutions, regulatory frameworks, and human psychology can adapt quickly enough to the transformations these technologies enable. Because ready or not, 2030 is going to look dramatically different than 2025, and 2025 already resembles science fiction compared to just a few years ago.